Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be making a video which you guys had requested for ages ago. Last year in 2020 when Sandeep, my husband and I got married uh, through COVID and through the lockdown. At that time we also got featured on a lot of uh, wedding platforms such as weddings.com and wedding wire and multiple others. So at that time, a lot of we got a lot of questions on uh, how we made the thing happen, how we came to the decision of how we're going to get married. So today I'm going to be making that video. I had put up a Q&A um, tag so that you guys can ask me whatever questions you had. And I've also combined it with a bunch of other questions that I had gotten uh, some months ago. So let's get started. I'll also keep posting the pictures so that you guys can feel connected. And if you're new here, you can know what I'm talking about. So let's get started. Please do consider subscribing to my channel, like this video and please, please, please comment below if you have any thoughts or any other topics you'd want to see my videos on. And yeah, let's go right into the video. Also, here's a very, very shameless plug-in. If you see these earrings and you like them, these Ikkat fabric earrings, I'm selling them on my small online store on Instagram called shop.aina. I'll write it right here and I'll link it below in the description box. So do have a look. They're handmade and extremely lightweight. Okay, so I've moved the camera a little bit and that switch right above my head bothers me a lot. So I'm trying to sit upright. So I've moved slightly to my right and your left so that I can keep putting the pictures right here of what I'm talking about. Give you a slight gist. We have been dating for, we were, sorry, we're not dating anymore. We've been married, but we were dating for well over a decade, uh, about 12 years when we got married. And uh, at that time, when COVID happened, um, we after the first lockdown in September 2020, Sandeep and I decided to get married and have a very, very intimate sort of a wedding scene. I have the questions right here because I'm shooting on my phone and uh, that's the only phone I have to myself. So the first question is, where did you, where did your wedding happen? So we had an Arya Samaj uh, Mandir wedding. Our wedding happened at an Arya Samaj Mandir in Vasant Vihar, uh, New Delhi. And a lot of you had asked me who were interested in having a simple Arya Samaj wedding, where the venue was, but obviously due to privacy reasons, I at that point of time did not want to disclose it. But uh, yeah, that's what the venue was. Did you shop through the pandemic? That is actually a very interesting question uh, because Mm, it was quite a hassle so obviously I did not go out I went out once which was uh, to give my blouse for stitching because there was absolutely no other option for that uh, so all the shopping happened online like uh, and also of course like when I'd gone uh, for to give the blouse to the tailor I also uh, bought the mehendi from the mehendi wala uh, from a market close to that place only so yeah and at that time i think the situation was very different we did not know a lot about covid so the paranoia and the fear was much higher than it uh, slowly turned into of course like barring the second wave which was horrible um so yeah that was the scene these two things i got out of the house uh, my sari my wedding sari was shopped uh, and delivered to me so it was shopped online um my jewelry was something that was my mother's jewelry which i had decided ages ago that i wanted to wear that at least for one of my wedding functions so i didn't have to shop for that and uh for my footwear was uh, shopped online and my what else yeah pretty much that was it the rest of it was more of a jugar scene where i just used whatever i did have already like for example my mehendi outfit 
वॉज अ वेडिंग लहंगा सॉरी अ लहंगा दैट आई हैड बॉट फॉर माई फ्रेंड्स वेडिंग एज इज अ गो सो आई टीम डिट विद अ वाइट स्पगेटी टॉप एंड आई even my jewelry for the mehndi and everything was stuff that i had collected through my friends mehndis and haldis and all of that so i think the wedding saree was the main thing that i purchased for my wedding and that came online also uh we did not shop a lot uh the things were pretty basic i mixed and matched things uh taking the risk of doing it all online so my sari was i'll attach the picture right here my sari was a crimson red and uh, a banarasi sari and i needed a an old ni so i also wanted that to be of a similar red so that was also shopped online uh and i'll give the description uh, sorry i'll give the links to whatever i can uh, right below in the description box so that you can have a look that was about it i didn't shop a lot a lot so the next question is was your wedding a zoom wedding so uh we basically had we had a close friends on zoom and uh yeah so like a part of the people like especially i age group were on zoom and apart from that we made a album of uh, all the functions and what all like you know there were two the mehndi as and at home only and the wedding at the mandir so we made two the two of those albums and uploaded them and shared it with uh, everyone in our family and our friend circle So the next question is how did it feel to get married through the lockdown So it was mixed feelings uh, a, it felt like a bit of a compromise along with uh, the fact that we got rid of all the other tamasha that happens around a wedding it was way simpler than how my wedding would have been if the pandemic wasn't going on uh and since there were many much lesser people and much lesser uh, resources and things required it was better on that front but yes if i do sometimes think about what if this pandemic hadn't happened and i had gotten married the normal way so i did always have many many things on my mind about the decor and about what i'm going to wear and how i look and all of that kind of uh, got shrunk into this one arya samaj wedding day and i had to kind of we both had to kind of make peace with that so it felt interesting like actually frankly my mind was continuously on covid itself and how we're going to minimize the risk um and apart from that yeah like i think it was it took quite a long time for me to realize that this is my wedding and this is how it's happening so yeah like it felt interesting like it was definitely an experience of a lifetime and yeah that's about it so the next question is 30 years ago weddings were intimate with the focus on loved ones did you have all the resources for the wedding uh that is actually very very true like when i got messages around uh how simple your wedding was and how intimate and basic and pretty or beautiful it was i was thinking about ki ye kab itna unique concept ho gaya like in the 90s um when i was a kid a lot of the weddings would happen this way and even i think uh बॉलीवुड में भी बहुत ज्यादा दिखाते थे कि मंदिर वाली शादी है एंड ऑफ कोर्स वो थोड़ा ड्रामेटाइज होता था वे लाइक फैमिली एंड पेरेंट्स आर कमिंग इन टू ब्रेक द वेडिंग एंड से ये शादी नहीं हो सकती एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट बट या द वेडिंग वॉज हाउ वेडिंग यूज टू बी बी बिफोर एवरी थिंग गॉट कमर्शलाइज एंड it did feel like a wedding right out of the 90s did you have all the resources i think the answer to that is that through covid we all realized that jo resources hai usi mein manage karo uh 
and I mean we all were surprised about how little resources we actually need so I did kind of realize that okay I'm not going to be wearing a huge lehenga or uh, all those mood boards that were there in my mind of I always wanted to have a bohemian themed Indian wedding uh, with a lot of pastel colors and all of that so obviously like when COVID happened I realized that is not going to happen and uh सो रिसोर्सेज जितनी थी हमने उसी में मैनेज करा और जो भी हम सेफली सोर्स कर सकते थे थ्रू ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग दैट इज द रूट वी चोज एंड या इवन एट द वेडिंग वी हैड वेरी वेरी फ्यू पीपल सो दैट एवरी वन हु वॉज देर देर रिस्क ऑफ कैचिंग कोविड इज मिनिमाइज ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉज योर फोकस ऑन मेकिंग द डे स्पेशल राधर दैन वरिंग अबाउट द डेकोर मेकअप आउटफिट एंड पिक्चर्स सो आई थिंक अर्लियर वेन आई वुड कीप प्लानिंग अबाउट हाउ माई वेडिंग इज गोन बी आई नेवर इट वॉज ऑल द क्रिएटिव साइड ऑफ इट एंड द एक्साइटमेंट एंड सो देर वॉज नो थॉट ऑन हाउ इट कैन एक्चुअली लीड टू एंगजाइटी एंड इट कैन एक्चुअली लीड टू all these little little things taking the center stage versus one really understanding what's happening to them in that moment at an emotional level that is something i understood like a week or 10 days before our wedding so i think my mind uh us se like bees purchase in pehle was obviously around uh that was i mean is my saree going to get delivered on time and um मेरा ब्लाउज बन जाएगा ऑल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स बट विद टाइम आई थिंक आई रियलाइज एंड आई वॉज ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अ लॉट अबाउट दिस विद माई थेरेपिस्ट सो आई डिड रियलाइज दैट दोज आर नॉट रियली द थिंग्स दैट मैटर एज मच आई थिंक थ्रू अ वेडिंग आर इमोशंस आर सो हाइटन दैट we kind we kind of try and use the decor and the clothing and what may go wrong and all of those things uh to kind of run away from our real feelings so a week or 10 days before i think i started feeling really calm and i kind of started realizing that uh focus on the fact that you're going to be marrying your long term boyfriend and focus on the memories you have spent and how this marriage is going to make you feel so my uh, focus i think shifted more towards that than the clothing and the decor and all of those things is who did your makeup and hair so i did my makeup and hair uh, i i do remember reaching out to two of my makeup artist friends and at that time i was not even feeling safe to uh, go meet them or have them come in because a lot of us were had been in isolation for months so at that time i do remember a friend had mentioned that you know get a a professional to do your hair and your makeup but somehow at that time i wasn't feeling ready in terms of covid frankly i did not know much about makeup at all back then but uh sandeep i think kept saying that you will be good at it thoda sa practice kar le or uh, you'll figure it out so with time i realized that theek hai let me do one or two trials i anyway always wanted very very basic makeup i didn't want a lot of makeup i wanted it to be like a daytime thing where i look like myself and i look the way i look on a regular day just a little more than that so i actually went through two three youtube videos on makeup like i knew the absolute basics i knew foundation lagani hoti hai and lipstick kajal all of that so i did a short little crash course kind of a thing for myself a week before the wedding and uh, i did all the makeup myself and uh, the hair was something that was making me very very nervous because of the fact that i was using one of the neck pieces as my mang tikka so i had to figure out how i'm going to have that uh hanging on my head while it was hot it was september so like pasina bhi aa raha tha and it was humid so i had to figure out how i'm going to manage that Uh, with a hair bun and how i'm going to 
have that in a manner that it doesn't slip down 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 with the weight it was kind of heavy also it wasn't like very light like a mang tikka so that was one thing that was actually making me quite nervous but fortunately it stayed in place and i did two to three trials with my hair three four days before the wedding and in the morning when i started applying the makeup and doing my hair i won't lie i was really nervous <laughs> so that is something that i somehow managed on my own with a little bit of practice so the next question is how is your married life going my married life is going very similar to how my dating life was it's just that it feels slightly different and um there's a sense of the fact that you are married and your husband and wife but otherwise uh it's our i mean our routine and everything else is pretty much the same as it was when we were living in together for uh since 2014 to 2022 so yeah So what was the toughest part of your wedding plan? I think the toughest part was understanding that this is what it's going to be um, and digesting that it's going to be limited in a lot of ways. And I think the toughest part was I always had this visual of having a wedding function where I love dancing at parties. So I always had this uh, vision that we're going to have some function where all us friends and cousins and everyone's going to dance a lot. So that got chopped off and I still do hope that we have some function where we get to dance and chill. Uh but that part I took some time to understand that abhi filhal you're going to be married and this party may happen later but it's not going to be your wedding. uh so yeah i think that part was very difficult for me and also that i am a designer so i had every mood board and everything planned out in my head to the t uh the color combinations the material where it's going to be everything so that also did feel like okay this is not going to happen this may happen sometime later in life but not right now Another thing that was slightly difficult was that every time we were getting uh, receiving the things like my saree my footwear or the mandir ka jo bhi unko chahiye tha the ghee the matka all of those things everything had to be sanitized and that beyond the point especially when i was gi- giving my blouse for the fitting and uh the tightening or loosening every time i had to wait um so that it doesn't have any virus on it so that was pretty difficult okay so the next question is preparation of your guest list in the pandemic okay so agar aap abhi tak photos thodi dekh chuke hoge you may realize that we were very 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 few people apart from the pandit and sandeep and me there were i think uh five or six other friends and uh i I think we realized that we didn't want to have any uh like we we obviously could have called a few friends though like my, a lot of my close friends had covid at that point of time so we could have called a few close friends but the moment you want to call one or two it becomes more and more and more because then you it becomes like if i'm calling this person obviously i have to call these three as well and then it's just never ending so we just uh, straight up decided to keep it extremely minimal uh, and have the witnesses there and uh, two of my childhood friends who live close to me only and we had all been in isolation so that's how it was i think we just decided ki kisi ko bhi nahi bulana is point ke beyond and that i think kind of made people understand that that was the need of the hour so the next question is how did you decide what to wear so there's a slight interesting story behind that um i'm a branding and marketing specialist and sandeep and i run a branding and marketing uh brand an agency so uh, our wedding happened in september and in june we were actually doing the brand identity of banarasi sarees brand so uh at that time i think like i was going through a lot of sarees online and sandeep just mentioned that why don't you 
speak to our client at that time that um do you have any bridal sarees or do you have anything in red or pink or any color any pastel color that i wanted to wear so i was like yeah let's give that a shot that actually sounds like a good idea so she sent across a few designs that they already had lying with them and i fell in love with the the first design that she sent so that's how it was decided what i'm going to be wearing and uh, it just i don't know i think boy comfort zone bhi ban gaya tha because she was our client we were in touch for like 2 to 3 months so um yeah that's how i decided what i'm going to be wearing so who did your makeup i've already answered that i'll also attach a picture of uh, the morning when i started applying my makeup i woke up at like 6 in the morning and uh it was a bit crazy like uh i remember messaging my friends that guys subah ho gayi the day is here and they were all wide awake and they were like yes the day is here and i was a bit nervous but also pretty calm and i think sandeep was slightly nervous he started cooking i think at that time and started washing the dishes um then beyond the point i had to tell him that it's time just get ready now so i'll put i'll put a picture right here your brother made your mehndi we saw how did you decide that and how did it turn out okay so uh, at that time my brother was living with sandeep and me at our place uh, since about like 2 to 3 months and uh, i brought the mehndi and i realized that i can apply it jugadu way me on my left hand but how am i going to do my right hand so i asked him and he was like uh, bas mere ko pressurize mat kar if it's uh, whatever i can manage i'll do so i was like that's great like i just wanted the symbolism of the fact that okay we had a mehndi and we'd had a zoom mehndi with all my friends uh so while the zoom call was on and we were all chilling and someone had also put the music on so at that time my brother was uh i think drinking beer and i was having a uh, breezer or something and slowly moved on to beer so we both were pretty tipsy by uh, the time i we both did the mehndi so i'll uh, put that right here Okay so the next question is how did you do the pre-wedding shoot through the pandemic Okay so the pre-wedding shoot actually happened when the pandemic had not uh, we didn't know it existed it was already there in China but uh, India mein nahi hua tha like we did the pre-wedding shoot in November 2019 and uh, we thought that you know abhi kara lete hain and uh, it was for weddings.in it was for a campaign of theirs and uh, we got it done and we thought that theek hai like whenever we i mean next one or two years we'll get married so we'll use it for that but obviously we didn't know covid is going to hit and that so how simple our wedding's going to be but i'm really glad we had that a uh, pre wedding shoot at least to look back at times when weddings happened without covid on the scene Okay guys so that was it that was the list of questions and I'll try and put pictures uh, so that you can feel connected and you know the context of this video if you're new on my Instagram and you were not following me when we did get married and thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and as a lot of you had said that our wedding inspired a lot of people to have non commercial weddings so i hope uh, this information helped in any way and uh, if you have any more questions do let me know in the comments below and i'll try and answer them do subscribe to my channel and like the video and do share it with your friends and family especially those friends who are looking to have an intimate wedding and i hope this helps see you in my next video up until then have a good day bye